Shalom, it's Mariah Lisa with Mariah Shalee Village and today I'm shooting this video to share a game that we're going to be using for our agri-science lessons. So if you haven't seen that video, you should go and check it out. But just in case you haven't, we're going to be studying agricultural science with a lot of um, herbal science right learning about herbaceous plants and medicinal foods and how we can treat our body take care of our bodies what have you so I was particularly looking for some type of game or activity we could do where it made us more familiar with herbs and we know a little bit but never hurts to learn more that especially to reinforce what we know in a game because it's fun it's easy and we can all do it together at one time so I'm going to turn the camera around um, in a bit and walk you through the game and its contents and a little bit of how you play it. The name of the, ga the, name of the game is called, let's see, Wild Craft <laughs> by Learning Herb. I had to cheat for a second. Um, by Learning Herb. And, you know, not too long ago they were running like a 50% off sale. So I got my game half off, but I believe it is regularly priced at 36 99 but I love this game love 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 this game um, we are learning a lot about herbs as we play and so I wanted to make it a part of our lessons when we do start school for the 18 19 school year they also have other things that they're doing to learn about herbs so this is just like a fun supplement to that all right so give me a few minutes to turn the camera around and I will show you the game okay so here we have wildcraft game by learning herbs it's an herbal adventure game, a cooperative board game that explores healing herbs, ages four to adult, one to four players. So here's what the board looks like, cut in fours. Okay. And when I first saw this, I was like, just super in love with, oh, there's moon spaces and rainbow spaces. I didn't even know what they all meant yet. I was just so excited. So here's what your board game looks like. I'm going to go ahead and fold it back up. So, of course, you have um, the instructions to play the game. It actually came with more information than that. So, it has a lot of information for you there. And then it gives us ways to play. So, I'm going to walk you through the cards. And I do have to look at this as a cheat sheet for the cards. Because we've only played a few times, as you can see. So, you have the cooperation cards here. These are rainbow cards with words reminding you how cooperation opportunities work. So, for example, cooperation opportunity. You can now choose to either one, bring the player farthest behind up with you and discard this card now, or two, save this card. Use it anytime to allow you to use one or more plant cards to help another player with their trouble. So, this just talks about like cooperation, like you grow typically and you do things in a community or in a cooperative so it's not just about you so it really teaches them how to not be stingy or selfish or just how to not be self-centered and think only about you you have to be able to help another person out or another plan out um if you want to thrive or you know succeed in survival and so i really like how it also teaches them how to depend on nature as well Okay, and then you have trouble cards. These cards obviously have an X on them, and they include a short description of the challenge you are facing when you draw the card and a picture of the challenge for younger players. Uh-oh, that way. So, ouch, you got a wasp sting or a bee sting, mosquito bite, bumps and bruises, a sunburn, poison ivy. If you're hungry or tired, Right, so a sore throat, hay fever, sore muscles, what have you. So these are trouble cards. And then you have your plant cards. Move that plastic out the way there. So all of the different plants or herbs that are medicinal um, in nature. So burdock, colt's foot, echinacea, plantain, white willow. I'm not going to read them all, just trying to give you a good feel mint. Jewelweed, landed on plantain again, wild rose, yellow dock, etc. And then we have our little spinner here, which I put it together, took it back apart. Um, and then it has our pieces um, that we play with, you know, the game pieces that you need. So 
this is Wildcraft. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I think it retails for $36.99. But if you follow them on Facebook, they tend to have sales. I know they just had one and I got my game 50% off as I shared earlier. And I just wanted to introduce that game to you. So it will be a part of our Agri Science lessons. And this is Wildcraft. I'll come back. I think I will. I don't want to promise that I will. But I may come back. Um, throughout the school year and give you an update on it as we like play it weekly um, in our homeschool. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful for you. I know a few people, a good deal of people ask me um, what did the game include and what did it look like and what's it going to share. So I hope I helped answer any questions for you. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, shalom.